Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk you through how I made this vintage plaque. So I'll start off with this laser cut MDF frame. It comes in three parts, so we take the middle part out and we're left with two parts of the frame. The first thing that I do to get the surface prepped is prime it. I'm using white acrylic gesso for this, however you could use acrylic or chalk paint for that instead. Next I take this beautiful decoupage paper and just using a pencil I mark out the picture that I want to be inside of the frame. Then I cut it out. And then again using pencil I mark out the circle where I want the picture to be glued on. I spray the picture with water so the decoupage glue can seep in better. I apply a layer of this decoupage glue onto the back plate where I want the picture to go. Then dab off the excess water off of the picture and put it onto the back plate of the frame using the cloth napkin that I have. I dab it down to make sure that there's no excess glue or air bubbles underneath the paper. Then apply another layer of decoupage glue over the top and leave it to dry. While I'm waiting for the decoupage glue to dry, I glue on the top part of the frame onto the base. To glue it down, I'm using trade grade PVA glue. Next, I decorate the frame with clay molds. This is a redesign with Prima delicate florals mold, and I'm using Das air drying clay and the same trade grade PVA glue to glue it down. I decided to go for this pair of bigger floral swirls for the bottom of the frame. So I make them both, place them where I want them to be and then glue them on. Then I'll take this other redesign with Prima mold that has this cutest little bow on it. And glue this little bow down. Then to add to the frame from the top, I made a pair of these smaller florals again make both of them, place them where I want them to be and then glue them down.
Once the top florals were down, I wanted to make it symmetrical and add a little something in between them. So I made this tiny little ball out of clay, cut it in half, reshaped it so that it looked like a ball again and glued it on. Next I moved on to painting, I mixed this charcoal and clotted cream coloured chalk paint bought from Aldi. And applied two coats of it onto the front and the back of the frame. Here I'm just trying to blend the frame and the picture together a little bit. So I work in small sections, put a little bit of paint in the crease in between the frame and the picture and then using the cloth napkin I wipe the excess away, leaving this faded edge. Next I move on to dry brushing, so I take a little bit of this same clotted cream chalk paint that we used earlier and using this large natural bristle brush I pick up a little bit of paint, wipe the excess onto my plate and then brush it onto the frame. It is completely up to you as to how much of this second colour you end up applying onto your frame. I decided to go a little bit heavier, but like I said, it's completely up to you. Then to add a little bit of warmer tones to the frame, to match the little warmer toned bits on the butterfly picture, I took a little bit of this burnt sienna paint, mixed it together with our clotted cream colour and again brushed it over, but only over the moulds and the outside edges of the frame. To put a little bit of dimension back into the mould, I took that same charcoal paint that we used for the base and a small natural bristle brush and gently brushed on tiny little bits over the very top part of moulds. To seal the plaque I applied two coats of this heavy duty wood varnish by Polyvine, again to the front and the back of the plaque. As you can see I've already added a little string and a bow, this is just a little bit of cotton cloth that I had lying around so I cut it into a long string and made a bow and a string out of it. And to make it a little bit dirty and make it blend in with the rest of the plaque I took my small natural bristle brush, same charcoal paint that we used earlier and gently brushed it over the bow. Thank you. 
And so this is what the plaque is looking like. Let me know what you think to this calmer, more slowed down type of video. I'm trying out a slightly different format today. I'm trying to make my videos a little bit slower and a bit more efficient in terms of voiceover in it trying not to waffle as much as I usually do. So let me know what you think to this kind of style. As always, links for everything used in this video are gonna be down in the description below. If you're not already, then make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps to grow the channel. All of my social media links are down in the description below for you as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.